Hey everybody, Mario96 Luigi here doing another part for Uncharted for uh Thief's End. Look, there's our window. <clears throat> that should hold. Come on down. <laughs> There's a converse another conversation, the last one for this chapter that we can have here. We just gotta wait for Sam. <laughs> These landings are a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. If Sully can do it, so, he can uh, do it. Your other wonderful finds. Uh, the ones I missed. You at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but camera didn't make it that's too bad I have some drawings though when we get back I'll show you you have drawings what, are they up on the fridge or something no I they're good drawings I can't wait I don't see anything to climb here So That's far, the, good, the game's been I good. I think you mean precarious. <sighs> Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I could never do any of the stuff Nathan does. They're just not that athletic. Suck if you missed right now. It sure would. But I don't miss. We made it. Nathan? Nathan? What? The tr jet, the track suit. Oh, yeah. They get kicked out of that party immediately if they wore right. those things in there. How do I look? Strictly... Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind Strictly you. black tie. Oh, reception. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. There is uh, Victor Sullivan. It's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. Two years since they last saw each, e brother, each other. Right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What? What about that? Come on, let me show you something. Someone's here. Look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. We have five how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. 
evidence. There's gotta be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay. down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's gotta be something. Well, if the gods see us, make it for that cross. But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for lights, for lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. That'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Hey. Mosa. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the break room. Kill the power. Bring on the waiter. You're the best pickpocket. Right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Here we go. There's a treasure in here. A uh, Viking cloak clasp. I believe there's a conversation here with Sam. What are you doing? I'm just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We pulled off tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. There's another treasure here. The uh, mother of pearl horn. There'll be trouble in the basement. Sarah's just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Pardon me? I think that's the same waiter. I can't grab it. Here we are. Hey, let's do this. Oh, oh, it's locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in.
<laughs> and he doubted me. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Here comes trouble. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. So. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all... Trouble. ...dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. You're so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? Did you catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah. Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. There's uh, where the, the next treasure is straight ahead. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Oh yeah, they're full service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs. Uh, Persian bronze bowl. What's Mark something oceans. like that doing down here? Stay away from the normal people as far as possible. They are. There's security. Nah, just more heavily armed goons. Yeah, goons. There's another treasure at the base of this, uh, stairs case. The hell is this? This game wasn't on the blueprint. A brass barber bowl. For hair and stuff. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And it's locked. Right. There you go. <sighs> I see some fence up there. Nathan, come check this out. Here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Let's see. Need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Now, oh, good thing Sully's driving. Eesh, how many wine barrels do these people need? Dead end. 
Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. This place is like a maze. Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor's chatting up Nadine Ross? I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. The vents. It's our way out. <clears throat> yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Holding a lighter. Our escape route. It's really dark out here. I guess we're supposed to use the okay, vent now. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <coughs> and a lot more dusty. Why would anybody want to clean a vent? Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Tanto non capirebbe la differenza. rubati ai ricettatori we're just waiting now here we come we're outside now we're supposed to go that way but I think a treasure is close by I think Not this way. Hey, check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. He's been in there too long. He doesn't know what a cell tower is. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. <clears throat> All right. Good thing you kept in shape. There you go. 
the next treasure is right here. It's a little out of the way. You gotta climb this way. I'm gonna save Sully, just in case I don't lose. Show. Heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? <sighs> it must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Let's see. I think the treasure is that in that uh, window. A uh, Persian candlestick. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that and find a window. Drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Hello. Buona sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilian, Sam. What? So he waits to put a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. We're all by ourselves now. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? Oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm going to head back to the ballroom. The city of Rome. Sam, it's you there? It's changed from the old days. Sam? Sully? They're jamming the signals. But as to who is jamming the signals, we'll have to find out. I have no idea where to go right now. There's no indication where to go. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish.
Yep. Ah, oh shit! <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> yeah. Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh. Like, dead out? Oh, no. More like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Hmm. Well, then Again. he might as well be dead, right? No, uh oh. <laughs> Rafa. Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Rafe? How long has it been? Ten They're years? partners. Twelve. Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, that is one hell of a day He job. takes it seriously when he says Probably parents, uh, when the people the say parents, well, a sure. business. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the whole shit, old man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here. He's making a scene. About bidding on Avery's cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be. That's the kind of person he is. He's unstable mentally. He's mad with power. Well, you get my point. Nadine keeps him in check because he's crazy. We'll see how crazy he is throughout the series of the game. They're they're jamming the signals. We can't tell them about what's happening. Okay. Power room. I can do this. Uh. Maybe uh, just scr jump straight across. Yeah, that's it. God, why did I pick the power room? I can't move. There's a treasure close by, really close. Swinging like a monkey. There we go. There it is, the treasure.
Got to figure out how to get to it, though. That's the last one for this uh, chapter, uh, Mongol Dagger. So that guy is really, really crazy. Just like uh, that drug lord. They both want the treasure. A whole bunch of people want the treasure. The most successful pirate there ever was, John Avery. There we go. We're gonna run into some trouble out here. But that's nothing new. cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Che cosa? So this looks like a good place to end the video for now. So thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe.